32 NFL mini flags will be building my mud team. Shake it up. Oh, no. Digging in the box without looking. Our first player is going to be a Cincinnati Bengal. I don't even have to think about who we're going to get. It's like one of the best receivers in the entire NFL, and his name is Jamar Chase, which is an 86 overall. So he's going to be our wide receiver number two. Flag number two is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers have like one of the best defensive lines in the entire country, which is perfect because in this challenge, we'll need to be alternating between an offensive and and a defensive player. We were only allowed 191 overall and 290 overalls. And we need to make at least an 86 overall team. We're going to buy Troy Palomalu. Strong safety, 90 overall. And that immediately is one of our 290 overalls off the board. So now we're searching for an offensive player. I'm going to draw a random flag out every time. We get the Cleveland Brown. Ooh, left guard, Joel Batonio. It just, it screams out to me. Joel Batonio, 87 overall. An awesome guard for our team. Oh, we got the Baltimore Ravens. Let's go. That's another good defensive team to get. I see exactly who I want. And his name is Patrick Queen, a middle linebacker. This dude's super fast. And to make things tougher, we can't repeat a jersey number here. We've already used 6, 43, 75, and 1. Which towards the end, when we're limited to positions, teams, and jersey numbers, it's going to get pretty difficult. We're drawing offense this time. It's going to be the Patriots. See, this is where we might start to struggle. Well, they do have Randy Moss, but only his 82 overall version is considered a Patriot. So I don't want to get an 82 overall Randy Moss. I feel like that's just not that good. Instead, I'm thinking of eyeing this Devontae Parker 87 overall. This is a decent receiver for us. No, I just realized he's got the number one and I already bought him. Oh, we got to sell him back. Oh, I'm a bonehead. I just wasted coins. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just get David Andrews. He's an 84 overall. He's number 60. We haven't used that yet. For 30,000 coins, I say, why not? Oh, man. Upside down. The Green Bay Packers. That one hurts just my soul. Kenny Clark up front. We need two defensive tackles. I say we go with number 97, which we also have not used yet. I triple check this time. For 27,000 coins, we'll get Kenny Clark and add him to the defensive side of the ball. We're going to end up pulling. Oh, Yes, baby. The Buffalo Bills for the offense. That is like chef's kiss right there. You know what? We haven't used 72 yet. I'm filling out the offensive line. It's very important. David Questenberry. What a name, bro. 35,000 coins. Number 72 is going to be our starting right tackle. Back to defense here. What are the best defensive teams? We already pulled the Steelers. Oh, like the 49ers. That'd be sick. Oh, no. We end up getting the Houston Texans. This one might be tough. I have no idea what defensive options we're going to have on the Texans. Ooh, a free safety Jalen Petre. I actually kind of like the free safety Jalen Petre. We haven't used number 59 either. Petre's number is actually five, but to keep things simple, we're just going to go with what they have in their card art. So it's 59 here on the card, which we haven't used. We're going to end up going with Jalen Petre, our free safety number one. That actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Our next offensive player is going to be from the 49ers. Where was this pennant on the defensive one? Kyle Juszczyk is just staring me in the face, but so is George Kittle at 85, and he's such a beast. Trent Williams at left tackle. Oh my god, dude. The choices here are very, very difficult. We're gonna go with 88 overall Trent Williams, our left tackle number 71. He's like one of the best players overall in the NFL. And it feels good to almost have our offensive line done with. Usually it's something that I say for last, but to get it kind of out of the way makes me feel good about this. Our next defensive player is going to be who's this? The Miami Dolphins. I wish this was for offense too, man. I feel like we're getting hoes. We're like back and forth here. There are probably higher overall options to get here, but we got to start getting our cornerbacks assembled. So number 25 is off the market now because we're picking up Xavier Howard. And I'm going to put him at cornerback number two because I feel like there's still a better cornerback out there that we can get. But we're at an 86 overall right now, which is our end goal for this. So we need to keep getting high overall players. And as the jersey numbers dwindle, this is going to get tougher. Our next offensive player is going to come from the Raiders. And we only have one receiver. I think it's time for another one. Dog, as I'm recording this, Devontae Adams' highest card is an 87 overall. That is just straight disrespect. We're going to go ahead and pick him up, though. We haven't used the number 17, but now it's off limits for 86,000 coins. They're, like, overflowing for the box. I'm trying not to peek, but, like, it's very tempting. Our next defensive player is the Indianapolis Colts. We should have a wide array of options here. I say let's get one of our linebacker positions taken care of. Let's go with 53. 86 overall Darius Shaq. 
Shaquille Leonard. Next up for offense, we draw. I love this team, the Chargers. If you've been watching my videos, you know that this dude is like my favorite player in this entire game. And he's a tight end and he's an 86 overall. Donald Farham Jr., number 89. I mean, the guy's six foot eight at our tight end number one. What is absolutely not to love about that? Defensively, again, I don't even know who we want. Maybe like the Buccaneers would be good. That'd be pretty, oh, it's not the Buccaneers. Instead, it's the Seattle Seahawks, which is one of those teams where I, I don't think we have many good options anyway. They've also got this guy by the name of Sidney Jones, which this 87 overall card plays like a beast. We're gonna go ahead and pick him up. Next player on offense. I wonder how I should hang these flags. I'd love to hang them in my room. I have no idea how to do it though. It's going to be the Washington Commanders, which these are a little out of date too. It says football team. We need a, a right guard, not a left guard. See, this is where we run into trouble, boys. Are we going to be stuck with Carson Wentz? Our options are very limited for the Commanders. I know you can play left guards at right guard, but I'm trying to keep it true to the position that's on the card just to make it a little more challenging. We can't get Terry McLaurin either because he's number 17 and we already have Devontae Adams. This is kind of unfortunate, but really our only option here is to go with Carson Wentz at quarterback. He's an 86 overall and he's number Number 11, so he checks both the boxes. I, I guess Carson Wentz is our guy. He's our dude for this team. I wonder if we'll see any left-handed throws. And for defense, we still need some linebackers, two cornerbacks, some pass rush. Like, we need a lot of defensive help still and we pull the arizona cardinals we can't do zavin collins because we've already done number 25 we're gonna go with number 99 jj watt since we didn't get to forrest buckner i almost feel obligated to get jj you know number 99 love we got to show it love we still need that right guard spot filled so i'm just waiting for a team that's gonna give us a good option at that and we pull the tennessee titans we're in luck, baby. 87 overall. I mean, it's kind of an expensive card, but we haven't used number 64 yet. I feel like this is just fate. We're going with Nate Davis. Defense, come on. What are we going to get? New York Giants. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I didn't even realize Lawrence Taylor was in this game at this current time. Number 56, which we have not used. And he's only an 89 overall. So he doesn't even take away from one of our 90 overalls that we can get. And he's a beastly player. Like one of the best pass rushers in this entire game. I've left some pretty prime positions open on offense, like your wide receiver and halfbacks knowing that the numbers and overalls could get tough here <laughs> of course of course we draw the jags it's low key like a sick pennant i love the colors and everything but like come on man why do i just have a feeling i'm gonna get like the jets on offense too or something these pennants just want to see me fail oh our options are pretty limited here again boys i guess we'll have to go with a wide receiver here because it's like all offensive linemen in positions that we already have and we haven't used christian kirk's number yet 13 so even though he's an 85 overall this is gonna be our next wide receiver can we get the buccaneers they have a great defense they've got great cornerbacks that's what we need oh that was uh, I swear to God, I didn't peek. I swear on my life, I did not cheat. Now, I'm keeping an open mind, but I know they're going to have good cornerbacks. I think we just got to go with Carlton Davis here, which it, it, it's a freaking awesome card, okay? He's number 24. We haven't used that yet. My guess is he's going to be our cornerback number one. So that's where I'm going to stick him for now. Wide receiver, halfback, and fullback on the offensive side here for whoever we pull. We're going to end up pulling the Minnesota Vikings. We need a wide receiver. We pull the Vikings. The pennants are starting to cheer for us. And thankfully, we have not used the number 18 because that's the number of Justin Jefferson as I just paid 240k for him. Let's go, baby. Come on. All right, defense. This is going to be the Atlanta Falcons. Another one of those teams that probably doesn't have many good options pretty much anywhere. I say let's go with 87 overall, Casey Hayward. Seems like our best kind of option from what we had. Number 29 is off the list. Halfback or fullback. That's all we've got left on offense. And we're going to end up pulling the Denver Broncos. Well, their only fullback option is a 70 overall. So let's hope that Javante Williams or Melvin Gordon at halfback have much, much better cards. And thank God we haven't used number 33, so we can get 86 overall Javante Williams for our halfback. Right end, DT, and middle linebacker. On defense, what we got left, the L.A. Ram. Unfortunately, Aaron Donald's off limits because J.J. Watt already has number 99, so we can't get him. I'm going to go with Merlin Olsen. Number 74 is now off the table. Last offensive position, a fullback. We have to take whatever team we get here, which is very, very nerve-wracking. I knew it. I knew we were going to get the Jets for offense, and of course, we get them at a position that I don't even know if they have. This could severely hurt our overall if they don't have a high overall fullback. What do they have? They don't have a single one, which means I have to put a 68 overall from the 
starter team in there, which is that's gonna murk our overall. This 86 just became a lot harder. After we put our 68 overall in the position, oh, thank God it didn't bring down our overall. We're still at an 86, but that's because I think our defense is really high. So these last two positions are critical at this point. First off, we have to add a player from the New Orleans Saints. I wanted to use 56 Demario Davis, but Lawrence Taylor's already number 56, so we can't get him. But it looks like Sam Mills might be available to us as we have not used number 51. So that's, I mean, next question. We're picking up number 51, 89 overall, Sam Mills. Our last defensive position, right end. Who's it gonna be? What team? We drew the Dallas Cowboys. What right ends do the Cowboys have? I have no idea. Let's hope someone good. Dante Fowler. Oh, no. He's number 56, which we've already used, which means we have to go to the next lowest here, which would be Devontae Bond. And he's number 53, which we've also already used. And a 74 overall, Dorrance Armstrong is our next best option for 1,400 coins. At a 74 overall, I'm praying this does not drop us to an 85 overall squad because I really want to complete this challenge and get an 86 overall team. And the last card that we add, the pressure's on. Give me a drum roll as we add a 74 overall cowboy to the team, and it's going to put a set in 85. Oh, on the last card, we lost it. I knew this would come down to the wire. It's very clear. The pennant gods hate me. If you like this, I built a team using tiny football caps. They're little collectibles here. You should check it out in that video up there.